Hi, how's your Lenten journey going? We've all just crossed the midway mark to Holy Week as we enter into the fourth Sunday of Lent. Now, much like any hiking trip that we might have taken, or say a project that we've long worked on, we often consider taking some time, especially midway, for a small break. Maybe take stock of our progress at that point, and perhaps even celebrate some milestones or turning points we've crossed along the way. Now the fourth Sunday of Lent is also known as Laetare Sunday, Laetare being the Latin word for rejoice. How fitting is it then that at this point of the Lenten season, we too are invited to pause and to be mindful of the key moments of our journey so far that bring us encouragement and that bring us joy. To start, we can see a little more fully of how far we've come. Are there moments that we can look back on for which we're very grateful or can rejoice in? And then, were there moments that were more difficult to stay on track? And more importantly, what helped us or what can help us to find our footing again and get back on track? In our daily routines, our different commitments to work and school, to our families, to our ministries, to those in need, did we remember in our busyness to seek time with God? And did we recognize him in the very people and circumstances around us? And finally, looking forward, who or what do we really seek in the remainder of our journey? And how far are we really willing to go? This Sunday's Gospel introduces someone who, like many of us, was also in search for something more. And perhaps he's best known for his curiosity and his desire for the truth. His name was Nicodemus, and he is described and identified in scripture as a Pharisee, but also he was welcomed as a friend by Jesus. By this time, through his teachings and his deeds, Jesus was attracting more and more people everywhere he went, while the religious leaders, the scribes and the Pharisees, they shared a growing collective contempt for him and for everything he stood for. And then there was Nicodemus. He found himself restless, for he was captivated by Christ's words, and he sought to understand more and beyond the religious law that he and his counterparts had been enforcing. In the Gospel, we find that Nicodemus sought out Jesus only by night, out of fear of being discovered by other religious leaders. And one might say that he was driven by his own discontent, genuinely seeking to know and understand God as best he could. Now Jesus recognized his struggle and his confusion, and so he ministered to Nicodemus, who, through his courage, showed that he was open and ready to receive directly from the living word. Now what will you and I seek in the coming weeks, months, even years? You know, often in life, it can be very easy to become confused about what can and what cannot bring us healing, bring us peace, and bring us true joy. Sometimes we seek these in our accomplishments, in our addictions, 
in other people, in material things, and in unhealthy habits. But all of these just leave us wanting and remain walking, lost, even wounded in the dark. My prayer for you is that you continue to find different ways to return to God this Lent, and that you always remember that you belong to Him, that being open to His grace and His presence will always keep you near. And may you find, like Nicodemus did, your own way out of the darkness and into the light of Christ.